Hey guys, this is Primeval. Welcome back to part 15 of my Roomworld playthrough. Let's um, take stock of what's going on here. We'll have the game on pause for a little bit. We uh, need to repair the front door, probably build some better defenses here. Um, our main issue with the last attack was we were surprised by the pirate's ability to set up mortars, so we'll need to get our own mortars going. Um, we still just have the one incendiary mortar. Uh, the one conventional mortar and the EMP mortar. I did want to set up a couple more mortars probably down here or maybe over here. We need, need to get the front door back up and maybe expand that even more. And we want to make sure that there are no other entrances and that'll force any enemy units that spawn outside the colony to come through our uh, main, well previously well defended entrance. We do have one door here, we might want to fence that off once we've retrieved all the metal from back here. Uh, there are some visitors from Hamlet at Stream still wandering around, we could mine that out. Uh, I think what I really want to do is drop a stone wall and box off this whole area, and then we can put in a whole bunch of bedrooms there. So far we've been giving our colonists very large bedrooms, and um, I think that if I do want to get some more people, and more quickly we're going to have to give them slightly smaller bedrooms. Um, they'll be a little annoyed that their environment is a little cramped, but um, hopefully they'll get over that. Alright, so we have quite a few complaints about ugly environment here. Nutrient paste, uh, we do need to go hunting again. Well, there is meat around. Uh, maybe I can get Doc to prepare some more fine meals. Uh, we don't need to store clothing on this stockpile. I can stop the stockpile itself. Alright, uh, food, yes, apparel, no. Well, that rotten, no, good. Um, they can chuck that all, uh, truck that all out here. We do have armored vests, I want to see if they actually provide... Okay, so armored vests do actually provide damage absorption here. We should, uh, the slight movement debuff. How does that compare to, say, a t-shirt? Uh, only minor damage absorption there. Button-down shirt, similar. What else do we have? A vest or a jacket? The jacket's not bad either. Hmm. Alright, so we could go and get our guys to put on these various vests. Slightly different colors. 5, 20, 50. 5, 20, 50. Okay, they're just different colors here, but they have the same effects. The squirrel. Alright, let's um, we'll get Trigger to armor up. He's going to haul something to a top stockpile. Let's go wear the armored vest. Uh, Hunter, I want you to put on an armored vest as well. And why don't all of you wear armor? Great. And of course we have uh, the recent edition of Clark here. Uh, what's Clark wearing? A button-down shirt. Uh, you can wear a jacket until uh, we get you something actually nice. A duster. What does the duster do? Plus 8, plus 5. We'll say plus five. All right, so he's already got some protection there. How does that compare to the gear we have on now? Yeah, the armor is definitely superior. Jacket, t-shirt, button-down shirt, t-shirt and jacket, t-shirt and jacket. Now the armor is going to be nicer. How's our prisoner doing? Um, looks like he could be recruited soon. Let's uh, try to recruit. And you go to friendly chats. Alright, our battery reserves are decent, but we do need to get all this stuff repaired. So, ah, there's another armored vest here actually. Um, Hunter, green thumb trigger, Clark. I want you. Alright, so after you pick up the metal, great. Uh, I would like Clark to go and wear the armored vest. That's great. And, um, yeah, let's clean up all of this stuff. 
Everyone else is sleeping. And we should probably clean up the blood, at least in the common room where everyone eats their meals. That can't be good for morale here. Hunter is researching. Not a cleaner. Could he be a cleaner? No, <laughs> he's incapable of cleaning. All right, Doc, I want you to do some cleaning as well. Trigger, where are you off to? Hauling a cowboy hat. All right, that's uh, good. Ah, we have another vest there. If we recruit Crane, uh, we can give him that armor vest then. But Trigger, I want you to clean the dirt. Green sun, where are you off to? Sowing some flowers there. Let's clean the dirt here too. Why is this dirt not a wooden floor? Cleaning the deer blood, that's what I want. And the deer blood, okay, and so I have been having trouble balancing the audio. I'm going to go and pause the video here, uh, or stop the video and then refuse it and see how how loud the thunder actually is on the video. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So the thunder sounded reasonable to me in the recording. Let me know how that sounds, and I apologize for the um, less than ideal audio we've had um, for at least the beginning of the series. So hopefully uh, we've done a better job at balancing the audio this time around. Everyone's hauling their clothing over to the stockpile. Hopefully we can get some nice prices for that. Beer. Armored vest, t-shirt, jacket. Ah, you can wear a jacket and an armored vest. That's pretty cool. Alright, so Green Thumb, why don't you put on a jacket too? Um, that's a button-down shirt. What would be a good-looking jacket for you? I guess that's fine. Green Thumb, where are you off to? This is a duster. Um, what sort of stats does the duster have? I guess we'll... Find out soon enough. Um, this duster, nice pink duster. Yeah, can you wear the duster and armor? Cool. All right, and um, Drake's got armor and a duster, button-down shirt, and a hat. Does the hat provide any stats? It does. Um, Shields off, bites and scratches anyways. Um, cool. So, who else wants a nice hat? Okay, so it looks like they can all wear at least four items here. Okay, let's go get that metal. Dog. Um, he's got a t-shirt, armor, jacket. Doc could probably use a nice cowboy hat as well. Go wear that cowboy hat. Hunter. We could use a cowboy hat too. And Trigger. I, I do like the after of he's sporting, so maybe we'll leave him be. Right. Let's go haul all the slag away, and then we'll go and rebuild the metal walls. Um, or even. Uh, well, we build metal, and then uh, we'll probably get to work on the stone wall at some point. Quite the storm, it's pretty dark out here. I wonder if putting a lamp outside is probably pretty dangerous. Um, that could result in some electrocution. Uh, let's turn the slag melter back on and uh, also put the light on in here. Everyone else is sleeping. There was a fire, struck our improvised turret.
We do have metal we can harvest. We want to send people out into the field. Alright, well, everyone's sleeping. We're going to fast forward. And some of these guys probably want their own veterans. Alright, I am excited about this whole gear situation. Everyone's got some nice stuff, although Clark needs a weapon. I guess he was injured recently. So, let's see. What do I want to give Clark? What sort of weapons do I have in the stockpile? That is the incendiary launcher, probably not. M24 LMG. What does this thing do? Uh, range 25, so that's uh, the standard range. It's not a sniper. Burst, low cooldown, low warm up, damage 7. It's a light machine gun. The Uzi. Hmm. What is Duster's shooting skill? Or Clark's shooting skill. And uh, gear, character health. Shooting is 14. Alright, we'll give him a sniper rifle as well. And um, equip the M24. Alright, so we're completing work on this room here. And metal from out here. And we got a message. An escape pod has crashed. And um, this guy over here, he's in shock. Ah, it's a female. Excellent. We can get one more um, woman so that it's not uh, just for a green thumb. Hunter, can you go and rescue? This colonist. Um, I guess we'll probably need a prisoner bed. Where can we drop a prisoner bed? Right over here. And did everyone go to sleep there? Alright, who has the most rest? Mean Thumb, why don't you go and rescue poor McLean here? And since you are going out on your own in the middle of the night, we'll keep an eye on you, make sure nothing untoward happens. Okay, all that seems fine. Got plenty of space and stockpiles, plenty of wood. We do have a decent supply of metal now too, so we can probably go and build up those borders I wanted. Alright, another incendiary mortar. Wait, let's um look at the stats on this. Incendiary does it's got the same minimum range, but I want to know which one does more damage. Um, we'll, we'll build another one of each. Uh, not so close to the turret that it'll be hurt when or if the turret explodes. So maybe... Over here. And then we'll also go and build a just a conventional mortar. Yeah, that spot's probably fine. Meanwhile, I do want this deer blood cleaned up. Let's see. Clark, you are capable of cleaning, aren't you? I'm working on the mortar, I suppose that's fine. Green thumb. I hate to do this to you, but um, 
could you clean up the deer blood here? And I wonder, so the smelter and the crematorium are both production. Can we attach hoppers to that? No. But that would be awesome if we didn't have to stand by the smelter um, while we were doing it. We could just load up food, like with the nutrient paste dispenser. Speaking of which, it looks like we can cancel the uh, floor that we had queued up there. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, he's, he's just visiting. Clark, you would be so kind as to clean... <laughs> the blood is actually named, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, if you could clean up that blood, that would be great. Clean the blood of Hunter. Tacos. Wow, Hunter's left a lot of blood around here. That can't be good for morale. Gizmo. Alright, we should at least clean the blood out from this bedroom. And I definitely want to go and clean all this deer blood. I feel like we're playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, dropping all of the, um, what were they called? I guess maintenance people? Cleaning up all the puke. It was the only way to get a high park rating. Yeah, if we can clean all this stuff up. Um, why isn't Doc cooking for us anymore? Is he too busy uh, serving all these guys? And um, we recruited Crane. Where is Crane? Alright, here's Crane. I don't know about the Doc. He is uninjured, has a passion for shooting, excellent at construction gear wise. He's got an armored vest, that's cool. Nicely purple in color, but it seems to have the same stats as our other vests. You could use a shirt if you wanted, or a hat rather, but he needs a weapon of some kind. Since, um, let's just give him this LMG. He doesn't uh, have the highest shooting score, so I don't want to give him a sniper, but um, hopefully he can't mess things up too badly uh, with a medium ranged weapon. Now, overview wise, cooking. Doc's still able to do that. Construction. Doing art search. Put you on mining as well. Looks fine. Alright, Doc. Um, once you're done there, I want you to prepare some meals. Sleep again. Apparently, bills, config, fine meal. We can use meat, and we do have meat. Got only four there. Alright, let's go and let some more of these deer. Cleaning duty. There's plenty of stuff to be cleaned. Everyone has a bed. Columns. Alright, so I did want to set up some bedrooms in here. 
might also dead. Let's go. Crane, why don't you go and strip one of your comrades? Yeah, all forbidden. Go and hold that guy. Looks like we do need some more minerals. Hmm. Every male winces in pain. Distant engine of hatred is stirring. It's projecting a powerful psychic drone over this entire region on a frequency that seems to affect the male gender only. For a few days, some people's mood will get quite a bit worse. Well, that's that's not great. And uh, Doc, I wish you would stop crafting. Uh, overview. Okay, so what do we want to do with this guy? We want to strip him. And turn that back on. See green thumb, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to go and cremate that corpse. And we'll check on people's mood now that we've got the second drone. Hunter is not doing so well there, but it looks like everyone's going to be fine as long as we don't spend too much time in really ugly environments. Mental break soon. Oh, Clark. Hmm. Alright, why don't we Cancel the rest of the hunting. I don't want you to be going crazy while you're out here. Orders cancel. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave a couple injured deer around here. He is psychically sensitive, so this is particularly bad. Hungry, sharing a bedroom. Alright, let's um, get you your own bedroom too. Um, can you go sleep in there? Set or as hunter. Mental break imminent. Come on, Clark. Hurry. Where are you going? Oh man, Clark. Apparently is on a rampage. Well, that's not good. Okay, so he set the squirrel on fire. Um, what can I do here? He's quite well armed. Green Thumb, what are you going to do? Beat out the fire. Um, let's send Hunter to... Hunter's on a cleaner. What can we do about Clark? We can't... Um, all right, can we shoot Clark to incapacitate him? All right, Green Thumb, please don't do that. Um, why don't you go and uh, i that. Prioritize calling these potatoes instead. All right, so can my turret oh. All right, Doc, put these fires out. Clark, um, we need you back here. He's got a few bites from a squirrel, um, but he's still got some psychotic thoughts. He's running around killing squirrels. That's not great. Uh, who else has a mental break? Trigger, where are you off to? I need you. Uh, I need to restrain you somehow. Can you just like go to sleep or something? All right, if mining is what you want to do, then. You can do that, all metal. The king needs to be recruited. We need some more uh, non insane females here. Okay, bring the deer back. Here's Crane. 
All this needs rescue. Okay. Um, who can rescue that? Doc. Uh, green thumb, you're much closer. Okay, yeah, beat out the fire. And then rescue Clark, please. Alright, so he did tire himself out. Uh, that could have been much worse, I guess. Hunter, how are you doing? Uh, you're actually doing just fine here. You're an optimist, not psychic and sensitive. You can sit at your research table. What's, how's your research doing? It's at 10 points now, up from the original 3. That's pretty nice. Okay, there's Trigger. Sleeping. Uh, we can go and toggle the power there, just in case a little light will make her feel a little better. And um, where are our medical beds? Where's Green Thumb taking? Alright. To Doc's bedroom, that'll be good. Easier to take care of from there, probably. And who else is about to have a mental break? Trigger, he's sleeping. Hopefully that'll remedy the situation. Eat nutrient paste. We really need Doc to cook some more high quality meals here. Health is good. Thoughts, his mood is fine. Not a fan of the nutrient paste. Why can't we... Bills. Oh, we don't have a... we didn't build a new uh, butcher's table. So, let's see. Butcher's table. Drop that right there. And, uh, enter. You're going back to research. It's fine. Doc is treating Clark. That's pretty important. Crane. Getting a rest, and you're actually fairly stable here. Um, can you go prioritize building the butcher's table? Alright, well, that's where we'll end part 15.